everyone. We're here at uh, Siwa Navigate in Austin, Texas. I'm here with the uh, Solomon, our keynote speaker, and it's day two. I'm very excited. Uh, we're here at the Dagger uh, booth. If you don't know what Dagger is, uh, check out the links in the description below. But we'll obviously talk about it uh, with Solomon. But before we move forward with that, uh, Solomon, how has your conference experience been? I know you've been talking to a lot of people. Oh yeah, it's been fantastic. I I I, I love this conference. It's just just the right. It's the perfect crowd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect crowd. It's, I I heard someone saying uh, human size. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, uh, can you maybe share a bit more about? I mean, we all know you from Docker, you know. And uh, in your keynote, you mentioned when Mark asked, "Is it easier when you're starting another company after having oh. a successful one?" <laughs> and you made a little joke. Um, so, can you tell us a bit more about Dagger? And uh, you mentioned in your keynote the pain point. Uh, you yeah. Just pick a pain point. So, what are the pain points that you are solving with Dagger, and how are you doing it? Yeah, yeah. We 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 always like to talk to software teams about their problems and whatever the most painful problem is. Uh, that's what we want to help solve. And um, yeah, the pain that we kept hearing about uh, again and again uh, was what we call push and pray. You know, if you're the designated DevOps person, you're in charge of the, the builds, the CI pipeline, all of that, shipping the application then developing the pipeline itself is just a painful experience. You have to push a change to this black box of a proprietary CI platform, wait for it to get back to you and tell you you made a typo, and then do it again and again. Um, we think CI pipelines should be like regular software. You make a change, you run it locally, you change it again, you run it again, just this rapid iteration loop. And then when it works, you push it to the server. So that's. That's what Dagger helps uh, solve. Yeah, and the constant innovation is happening in the cloud native space. Mm -hmm. And we oftentimes, you know, you mentioned about the pain point. So there are challenges and then companies are trying to solve those challenges. Do you think there's a, a you know, when you cross the chasm, mm -hmm. where are we there? Like, because we thought, you know, like Docker solved these problems. Or oh. like, <laughs> and, and now we're like, okay, now we have the platform engineering space that is kicking off, which is, like people have been doing it for the you know, yeah. past few years, but now it's like really taking up. And now the whole AI industry is booming. So as my basically my summary is that a lot of innovation is happening. Yeah. Do you think that there's a cloud would hit, cloud would hit a point in terms of uh, crossing the chasm or where we are right now? And uh, you know, just just yeah. why, why are things so complex? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you know I, we have to remember. I mean, it, it, these problems are are good problems. They're 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 problems that come out of success. You know, software changed the world. You know, everything is software now, and it, it's it's a it's a huge industry. I mean, it's so much bigger than when we started in our careers. You know, and um, as software becomes larger and more successful, and it's used by more and more people, then it becomes more complex. You know, and, and it becomes more fragmented. You have different niches and specialties. Um, so I think we're still going through our industrial revolution, you know, as a software industry. For a long time, software was assembled, you know, by hand in, in little uh, workshops, basically. And now we're making the transition to something more streamlined, more industrialized. You know, we need our software factories. Um, I think in a lot of ways, the physical manufacturing you know, the, the manufacturing of physical goods is more advanced, uh, more streamlined than the manufacturing of software. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got some catching up to do. Um, and meanwhile, like you said, innovation keeps accelerating. So, um, yeah, all good problems. If no yeah. one cared about software, then... If you're uh, the only person solving that yeah. problem, then, I mean, um, you know, because you come from, a, you know, obviously an incredible background. And the question I was asking is, um, we talk about DevOps, talking about, let's say, reducing the timeline for software development lifecycle, for example. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about Dagger, in which uh, area do you, you know, does, does Dagger play a, a crucial role? And oh. would you recommend it from like day one? Or is this something that takes up um, yeah. on like it, um, two and two? I think the pain dagger solves is a DevOps problem, right? It's the problem of integrating all the pieces together and um, shipping a, a functioning application. Um, typically, you start having DevOps problems not on the first day of developing a new app, but when your app starts becoming successful. It starts growing. It's not just you 
in your buddy anymore. You know, it's five people, 10 people, 20 people. You have different languages being used by different parts of the team, front end, back ends, data, ML. Um, you need, you need um, more robust testing. You need to integrate a wider variety of tools. You need to think about security, reliability, et cetera. Um, that's when things start getting really messy. And that's when Dagger can help integrate it all together um, without slowing down developers. So yeah, typically I would say, what I, I would tell developers, if, if you're starting on a new app and you're going as fast as you can and you don't worry about DevOps, forget Dagger. But when you're successful and you start having DevOps problems, you know, you'll, you'll be back. <laughs> Where about the platform engineering? So we, we have, uh, you know, like, dedicated, like developers, ideally, let's say, don't want to work with uh, YAML files or Kubernetes manifests, right? They just want to focus on building their websites. Uh, um, what, yeah. what are your whole, uh, because we, we see I was at KubeCon, there was this big booth that said DevOps is dead. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, guys. everyone has to figure out how to market themselves, you know, so sometimes you just make up new words. I think DevOps, platform engineering, it's all the same thing, you know, mm. CICD, you know, you got codes and mm. you want a, a live product that's online and people can use, mm -hmm. you know, call it whatever you want. <laughs> it's the same problem. It's the same problem, yeah. but different, many solutions. You mentioned yeah. that in your keynote, everyone is solving like, there's Ansible, string something, and there's... Yeah, it's a very fragmented market, uh -huh. you know, and everyone, you need, a, you need an angle to position yourself, but eventually... Everything has to be glued together and integrated into a functioning product. Amazing. Well, thanks for so, yeah. uh, sharing, Solomon. My last question is, um, in your keynote, you mentioned um, you moved from, um, from France. Yeah. Is that correct? Yep. Will you be at uh, KubeCon next month? I will be at KubeCon Paris, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'll be keynoting there. Oh, nice. And I will have a booth as well. Cool, cool. And my last question is, any, any recommendations in Paris for people? Like any food recommendations? Oh, find, or... find me at the booth and uh, I'll, uh, I'll hook you up. That's one way to bring people yeah. to the booth. You're PR trained. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for sharing, Solomon. My and, pleasure. Uh, thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, check out Dagger. Um, get involved in the community and uh, yeah, good luck. Live from Sivo Navigates. All right. <laughs>